ओम शांति बाबा साकार मुल्ली अप्रैल ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वर्जन ऑफ श्री बाबा बाप दादा मधुबन एसेंस ऑफ द मुरली स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू बिकम वेल्दी इन द मॉर्निंग एंड बेगर्स इन द इवनिंग सो बाबा से मॉर्निंग मीन्स गोल्डन एज एंड सिल्वर इज इवनिंग मीन्स कॉपर एज एंड आयरन इज इन ऑर्डर टू बिकम वेल्दी फ्रॉम बेगर्स एंड प्योर फ्रॉम इम्प्योर रिमेंबर टू वर्ड्स मनमना भाव एंड मध्या जी भाव सो हाउ टू बिकम ए वेल्दी से बाबा सेज फॉर दैट वी हैव टू रिमेंबर ओनली टू थिंग्स अवर सेल्फ एज ए सोल एंड रिमेंबर बाबा इन द सुप्रीम रीजन और वी कैन गो टू दैवन पेराडाइज दिस इज द ओनली वे बाबा से टू बिकम प्योर एंड टू बिकम दी सो सेल्फ सॉवरेन सो दी वर्ल्ड सॉवरेन क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द वे टू बिकम फ्री फ्रॉम कार्मिक बॉन्डेज we all want to be free from karmic bondage and what are the ways answer first the pilgrimage of remembrance and churning this knowledge baba said without churning this knowledge we cannot become pure because knowledge is the base of remembrance so remembrance and churning the knowledge second let there be all relationship with the one one but none your intellect should not be pulled by anyone because we have a attachment in our relationships with so many persons so our intellect he is being pulled by others so baba says now baba is the all kind of relation relations with him nine relations we have with baba so baba say only keep all relations in me so no question of other relations <clears throat> third let your yoga remain connected to the almighty battery almighty battery that is the supreme power how that is baba fourth pay full attention to yourself baba said don't see others go within then and then there will be improvement otherwise not fifth constantly have the wings of divine virtues and you will continue to become free from bondages karmic bondages we must have a wings of divine virtues means positivity in our thoughts meditation is nothing but positivity positive thoughts so baba says five things pilgrimage of remembrance and churning of knowledge second all relationship with with one third connected with almighty battery fourth pay full attention to ourselves and fifth must have a wings of divine virtue then and then we can become free from all karmic bondages <clears throat> that is our aim and objective that is called karmatit om shanti the father has said and explained to you that this is the story of bharat why because in bharat we can take total 84 months so this is a whole story of bharat bharat means golden age and world to the iron age and world what is the story baba said what is the story being wealthy in the morning and a beggar in the evening this is the whole story that the story of 84 months or story of you can say discuss of self realization there is a story about this the king was wealthy in the morning so in scripture they are indicated like this you don't hear these things when you are wealthy when we become you can say equivalent to baba equivalent to god then no need of remember him also so baba says <clears throat> you don't hear this thing what baba is giving the knowledge no need to remember that this knowledge then because we are becoming the you can say form of that law so no question of remembering there only at the conference age do you children hear the things about being wealthy and beggars <clears throat> this has to be imbibed by your heart not with the head truly devotion makes you a beggar and this knowledge makes you wealthy this day and night are unlimited 
to become wealthy from the beggar is also a matter of unlimited and it is the unlimited father who makes you that for all impure souls there is only the one battery to make them pure if you remember such slogans you will remain happy now as such different kind of slogans different kind of you can say turning points then and then we will remain happy the father says what he says you children become wealthy in the morning and you then become beggars in the evening morning means heaven paradise for 2500 years evening means from starting from corporate to the present time the father explains to you how you become this the father then also shows you the way to become pure from impure and wealthy from beggar only baba show the way nobody can show the way because nobody knows the two methods are what are the methods man mana bhav madhya ji bhav you children also know what we know that this is the most auspicious confluence it is guaranteed what is guaranteed for all of you who are sitting here that you will be wealthy in heaven number wise according to the efforts you make without effort no fruit no result <clears throat> it is the same in a school suppose we go to the physical school same thing the classes are transferred number wise when an examination is over students go and sit down number wise that is limited matter and this is an unlimited matter <clears throat> souls go into the rosary of rudra number wise the rosary or the tree or was a rosary or the tree same thing the seed is that of a tree anyway it was a tree he is a seed and seed is the supreme god father the supreme soul is the seed of the human world tree that is christmas tree or you can say kalpa vruksha in hinduism <clears throat> that is human world tree that is human genealogical tree you children know how the tree grows and how it becomes old previously you did not know this the father has come and explained it to you this is now the most auspicious confluence you children now have to make effort you also have to adopt the wings of divine virtues pay full attention to yourselves only by going on the pilgrimage of remembrance will you become pure there is no other way have full yoga with the father who is the almighty battery almighty power super power house his battery never becomes flat i was say never become flat never become lower full always full he doesn't go through the stages of sato rajo and tamo because he constantly has his karma this stage this is the difference <clears throat> between soul and supreme soul he is having a karma this stage always beyond karma so no question of going down we are coming in the cycle of birth and death that is in body so we going through the stages of sato rajo and tamo sato is pure Rajo is medium old, the mom is totally old. He is not going through any kind of this thing. You children go into the bondage of karma. He never goes bondage of karma. He is beyond, beyond bondage of karma, beyond body, beyond cycle. Supreme, sarvo pari. The bondages are so strong. There is only one way to become from those karmic accounts. the pilgrimage of remembrance only this is the way this is the panacea for all kind of you can say weaknesses all kind of maya all kind of vices all kind of bad habits all kind of negativity is based everything the only solution is pilgrimage of remembrance and the base of pilgrimage of remembrance is knowledge there is no way other than this for instance baba give example the knowledge softens your body or your bones no knowledge softens your bones bones with not physical bones that is our strong karmic account strong you can say sanskars which is we known as a pap karma vik karma sinful actions impression on the soul in fact even devotion softens you 
that's the reason devotion is better than don't do anything because people will be more religious at least they are not doing the vikarma during this time they are not doing sins during the devotion <clears throat> one would say this helper this helpless person is a devotional person because he never give pain or sorrow to anybody he doesn't cheat or deceive anyone he has no negativity no waste no cheating however there is deception among devotees too all are not equal this baba children all are not equal same way that too baba has experienced this baba mr dada <clears throat> when a soul carries out his business through his body everything of this birth is in his awareness one would remember one's own life story from the age of 4 or 5 some forget things of even 10 or 20 years ago something which are not very very important we forget but important things we never forget you cannot remember the name and form of birth after birth but you can recall a few things of this one birth we cannot recall what we were in the past birth but this birth we can remember many things people still have their photos etc why we are taking a photos for remembrance of our life they cannot recall anything of their other births each soul has different name form land time and part that he plays every time name changing all the bodies form changes one form you can say male another female land matlab place is changing even time to come changes and part what we are playing that is different changes with our profession also changing the name and form all continue to change <coughs> in particular in that baba says name and form definitely will change part may be similar means profession but name and form land may be same india means only in india time may be only one birth not much different but baba said name and form definitely change it is in your intellects how a soul sheds a body and takes another baba has shown everything this soul must definitely have taken 84 births and had 84 names and 84 fathers so as the birth changes we have different name and different fathers at the end all relationships become tamo pradhan you never have the have as many relationship at any other time as you do at this time you should understand that iron age relationships are bondages people have so many children who then get married and have their own children at this time you have the most relationships what kind of relationship baba has reminded maternal uncles paternal uncles and so many the more relatives you have the more bondages you have because relationship always attracts our attention our energy and where energy flows it will grow so baba says <coughs> where it will create many many bondages so baba says more relatives you have the more bondages you have it was written in the newspaper that quintuples that had been born and that are all healthy five children at a time <clears throat> just think how many relatives there are so many relatives there with their children at this time you, your relatives are the least of all because we have all relationship with the same father he is our father he is our teacher he is our guru he is our sar sarjan he is our beloved nine relations so baba say but all relationship to one so at least relationship at this time you have all relationship with just the one father your intellect yoga is not connected to anyone except the one in the golden age there will be more than this here only one in golden age mother father brother sister more than this more than present time your birth is like a diamond at this time the highest father adopts you children it is only now that you go into his lap while alive in order to claim your inheritance you have gone into the lap of the father from whom you receive the inheritance no one is higher than you brahmins 
the highest you can say birth. Diamond is at birth. The yoga all of all of you, the yoga of all of you is connected to the one father. You don't have any relationships with one another either. I must say soul to soul as a brother, nothing else. Even the relationship of brother and sister makes you fall. So don't create the relationship of that thing also. Always visualize soul as a brother. <clears throat> All relationships will be with the one. This is something new. You have to become pure and then return home. By turning the ocean of knowledge in this way, you will begin to spark up. There is the difference of day and night between the golden age sparkle and the iron age sparkle. Golden age, we are full of all 16 celestial degrees. In the iron age world, at the end, we have no degrees at all. So this is the difference. But sparkle will be there because soul is an energy. So neither be created nor destroyed. But the capacity or you can say intensity of sparkling will be different. At the time of the path of devotion, it is the kingdom of Ravana. At the end, there is so much arrogance of science. They try to compete with the golden age, who iron age world. They are creating or making a research of everything, which competing with the golden age and world. Suppose aeroplanes were there, so now we have aeroplanes, everything. A child wrote news about asking people, are you in heaven or in hell? Four to five replied that they were in heaven. This is the difference of day and night in their intellects. Some believe that they are in hell and you then, you then have to explain to them. Do what we have to explain to them. Do you want to become residents of heaven? Who establishes heaven? If they say, then we can ask a question. Do you want to become a residence of heaven? Then we can ask another question. Who establishes heaven? These are very sweet matters. You note <clears throat> this down, but those notes just remain in your notebooks. You don't remember them at the time of need. It is the Supreme Father, Supreme Son, Shiva, who makes you pure from impure. He says, what he says, constantly remember me alone and your sins will be cut away. No other way. There will be an income by having remembrance. The system of remembrance has now emerged. You become so elevated, pure and clean, by having remembrance. According to the efforts you make, you claim a status. You can even ask Baba about our effort, about our status. In the world, there is nothing but quarrels because of relationships and property. Nowadays, we can see, because at the end of the Iron Age, all the signs of, you can say, end, which is narrated in Mahabharata or in Quran or in Bible, we can see in our relationships and fighting for the properties. Here there are no relationships. You belong to the one father and none other, one but none. <clears throat> the father is the master of the unlimited. This is something very easy. On that side is heaven, on this side is hell. Are the residents of heaven good or are the residents of hell good? Those who are sensible would say that the residents of heaven are good. Because they don't know the father, some say that they are not concerned with the residents of heaven or residents of hell. Some leave the father's lap and go into Maya's lap. It is a wonder. It is a wonder. Because such a supreme father, we those who are leaving the father, they don't understand the father properly. They don't realize the father properly. So Baba said it is a wonder. The father is wonderful and this knowledge is also wonderful. Everything is wonderful. Baba said everything is wonderful because everything is new. Ravan is not a wonder, nor is nor his, his creation a wonder. There is difference of day and night. They have written in the scriptures, what they have written, that Sri Krishna went into Kalida, that is pool of a serpent with five heads, Kalida. That is a pool, that is a place. And that he then become ugly because he was bitten by serpent. 
you can now explain all of these things very clearly. If someone were to pick up Sri Krishna's pictures and study it, it he would become refreshed. This is the story of 84 births here, whatever the story of 84 births that is rise and fall of human beings. Just as it is Sri Krishna's story, so it is also your story, Brahma's story, so Brahmin's story. You go to heaven, you then also go into the silver age. Growth continues to take place, always population increases. It isn't that only those who are to become kings in the silver age will come in the silver age, no. The uneducated ones will have to bow down in front of the educated ones. Only Baba can know the secrets of this talk. You now know that all of your friends and relatives, etc., are residents of hell, and that you are the you are the most auspicious confluence aged ones. We are not residents of hell. We are at the auspicious confluence age. You are now becoming the most elevated ones. There is a lot of difference between when you live outside and when you come and stay here for seven days. Initially, all these courses, patties were being handled at Mount Abu. So people were going for seven days to Mount Abu for the course. So Babas, there is a lot of difference. When somebody is living outside doing a course here, and they are doing a course in Madhuban. Even today, every year, Madhuban is doing this seven days course in Madhuban also. In the summertime, when Baba season is not there, programmers are going on for different zones and they are sending VIPs to Madhuban also, who are not doing course or who don't have the time to do the course at the centers. The system is still continuing only for three days. Every day, two lessons and then Finally, they finish three to four days whole, you can say, <clears throat> seven days course. <clears throat> you come out of the difference between when you live outside and when you come and stay here for seven days. You come out of the company of swans and enter the company of stocks from here to go back, then company of stocks. There are many who spoiled others. Many children don't care about the mullies. The father explains, don't be careless. <clears throat> don't care, Miss Kellis. You have to become fragrant flower that is deity. And the support for that thing is Murli or knowledge. So don't miss Murli. Just one thing is enough for you. What is the thing? The pilgrimage of remembrance. Here only you have the company of Brahmins at Mount Abu. There is a difference between the highest of all and the lowest of all. Children can write, Baba, what would I? one swan alone do in the company a group of stocks. Stocks prick like thorns. You have to make so much effort. Baba said, make the effort of remembrance. By following the father's Srimad, you will claim a high status. Always remain a swan. Don't become a stock in the company of stocks. They, there, is, there is the saying. What is the saying? Those who, are, who were amazed by this knowledge, then related it to others and then ran away. <clears throat> if you have even a little of this knowledge, you can go to heaven, but there will be the difference of day and night. Those who did the course of seven days, they will also go to heaven. Those who work for Baba for whole life, they will also go to heaven, but difference in status. So Baba said difference of day and night. And in addition to that, there will be very severe punishment because we didn't make our life, so we have to go back with punishment. The father says, if you don't follow my directions and you become impure, you receive 100-fold punishment in your status is also reduced. So punishment, in addition to that, in bonus, status reduced. A kingdom is being established, a forest, this, a, you forget these things. If you remember even this much, you would definitely make effort to claim a high status. No other way. If you don't make effort, effort, it is understood that you listen with one ear and let it out through the other, and that you don't have yoga with the father. 
while living here your intellects yoga remains connected to you children while living here your intellects yoga remains connected to your children in the world natural there in madhavan it is with baba the father says forget all of that worldly relationship forget this is called disinterest there is a percentage in this too a remembrance percentage your thoughts go somewhere or other if you fall in love with someone baba give example that is bodily love your intellect clings to that one baba explains to you every day whatever you see with those eyes it is to be destroyed so no attachment no love baba say bodily love let your intellect remain connected in yoga to the new one also connect your intellect in yoga to unlimited relationships atma atma that is soul soul brother not even sister baba clarify this billward he is wonderful o oh, shiv baba on the path of devotion people sing when you come we will not remember anyone except you baba is reminding us our promises to him in the devotion now that i have come you have to remove your intellect yoga from everywhere else all of that is going to turn to dust why baba say remove the intellect because everything is going turn to dust it is as though your intellects are connected in yoga to dust if your intellects are connected in yoga to me that is baba you will become the masters the father makes you so sensible people don't know what this devotion is and what knowledge is you have now received this knowledge and so you have also understand what devotion is you now have a feeling of how much sorrow there is in devotion people perform devotion and consider themselves to be very happy then they also say god will come and give us the fruit in devotion they don't know how god will give the fruit or to whom he will give it <clears throat> they are telling but they don't know how god will come and to whom he will give the fruit you now understand what we understand that the father has come why to give you the fruit of your devotion you have to follow directions of the father from whom you receive the fruit of the kingdom of the world that is the fruit that is future world sovereignty this directions are called the highest directions of all everyone receive this directions some are able to follow them whereas others are not an unlimited sovereignty is to be established you now understand what you were and what your condition has now become maya completely destroys you power totally maya takes and makes us totally powerless this is like a world of cops whatever you heard on the path of devotion you continue to say true true to that however you now know that only the one father tells you the truth you should remember the one father if anyone from outside sat here he would not understand anything without doing course don't understand he would say i don't know what they are talking about here the whole world say see what they are thinking whole world say that god is omnipresent whereas these people say that he is their father so they don't know he would continue to shake his head in disagreement <laughs> not agreement in disagreement not not down to shake his head you would continue to say yes yes this is why new ones are not allowed to come here where to madhavan acha to the sweetest billward long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and spiritual children love remembrance good morning and say namaste to the spiritual father मीठे मीठे सिकल दे बच्चों प्रति बात पिता बाप दादा का याद प्यार और गुड मॉर्निंग रूहानी बाप की रूहानी बच्चों को नमस्ते हम रूहानी बच्चों की 
रूहानी मात पिता बाप दादा को याद प्यार गुड मॉर्निंग और नमस्ते शुक्रिया बाबा शुक्रिया एसेंस फॉर धारणा नंबर वन इन ऑर्डर टू बिकम फ्रेग्रेंट फ्लावर्स वॉट वी टू डू यू नोट टू बी वेरी कोशियस अबाउट द कंपनी यू कीप Keep the company of swans. Remain swans. Never become careless about the mudli. Always listen to the mudli, Baba says. Point number two: In order to be liberated from karmic bondages, have all your relationship at the confluence with the one Father. Do not have any relationship with one another. Do not allow your intellects to. cling in yoga to someone by falling in love in a limited relationship baba is saying everything so if somebody is involved baba said don't do that thing remember the one alone blessing may you be truly loving and merge in love for god and remain absorbed in meeting him then and then we can become absorbed in meeting him otherwise not <clears throat> so baba explains what he means the sign of love that he has been remembered is that although there are two beings they become combined in one form in devotion also baba says this is known as being merged devotees are referred to the to this stage of love as being merged or absorbed to merge in love is a stage however instead of stage they consider the identity of souls to finish for all time in devotion they consider merge means finished here we say merge means that stage we have equivalent to him when you children become absorbed in meeting the father or your spiritual beloved you then become equal to him merge means equal to him that's the reason we say na the god will be revealed by children by us why when 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 will be merged absorbed in the love of the father in one beloved slogan someone who is introverted become free from wasteful thoughts his mind and remains in silence so no wasteful thought in his mind or our mind and we remain silent that is called इंट्रो वर्जन अच्छा ओम शांति